Thank you for tuning in. Today's devotion is for December 3rd. The scripture states, Praise Him, ye heavens of heavens, and ye waters that be above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for He commanded, and they were created. Psalm 148, verse 4 and 5. The sun, the moon, the stars, the solid rocks, the flowing stream, the broad, restless ocean teach lessons that all would do well to heed. Nature is full of lessons of the love of God. Rightly understood, these lessons lead to the Creator. They point from nature to nature's God, teaching those simple, holy truths that cleanse the mind and bring it into close touch with God. The great teacher calls on nature to reflect the light that floods the threshold of heaven, that men and women may be led to obey his word. And nature does the bidding of the creator. To the heart softened by the grace of God, the sun, the moon, the stars, the lofty trees, the flowers of the field, utter their words of counsel and advice. The sowing of the seed carries the mind to spiritual seed sowing. The tree stands forth declaring that a good tree cannot bear evil fruit, neither can an evil tree bear good fruit. As Christ tells us the meaning of the things in nature, the science of true religion flashes forth, explaining the relation of the law of God to the natural and the spiritual world. The swallow and the crane observe the changes of the seasons. They migrate from one country to another to find a climate suitable to their convenience and happiness, as the Lord designed they should. They are obedient to the laws which govern their life. But the beings formed in the image of God fail to honor him by obeying the laws of nature. Let us pray. Most kind and compassionate Father, thank you for these reminders and these lessons about the birds that migrate. Because you have set it in their minds and in their hearts, whatever it may be, because I don't know the anatomy of these animals. But you have said it in them that when they're in a particular area and it's getting too cold, that they need to take flight and go someplace else. It's the same way that you have said in us that when times get hard and difficult, we are to come to you and to be refreshed, to be strengthened, to keep pressing forward. You have set in our minds the need to know you, to know your love. You have set all these things in motion for us. You have expressed your love to us in so many ways, specifically with Jesus' death on the cross for our sins. And yet still we continue to turn our back on you. Even when we have accepted your love, And your truth, realizing that we're sinners in need of a savior, oftentimes we get distracted by self and selfishness. And we spend less and less time with you and less time in your word. Father, please help us to come to you to feel that close touch that you talked about. Help us to love you and understand that you call us to obedience and to your truth because you want to spend eternity with us. Help us to spend time in nature because in beholding the beauty in the flowers, in the animals, in the trees, even in the wind blowing, that's your love to us, talking to us. Help us to know that you are a God who loves us, who knows the pain and the things that we're going through. And you just want to heal us. You just want us to be wrapped, wrapped up in you so that you can take care of us and provide for us. 
Lord, help us to spend time with you. Help us to be strengthened by you. Help us to keep our minds and our hearts fixed on heavenly things. Yes, we function now in this world, but help us to not be distracted by this world because the devil is so busy distracting us that we're not going to be prepared to meet Jesus when he returns soon. Wake us up, please. Thank you for your love towards us. Cleanse our minds and hearts, dear Lord. Help us to love. Help us to embrace your love and in return to love others. Forgive us where we have fallen short. Please help us to pray, to be obedient, to surrender, to serve you and to serve others. Your will be done in our lives, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.